All right, this morning we're going to learn how to copy a table from one database to another and we're going to use some of the existing practices we've used on previous videos and what I am going to do uh, because I don't think I have enough space is I'm going to delete a couple of tables in this database and this is a dev environment so I can do this it's not um, it's not an environment that I really care about any of the data and then there was one that I just created a couple of days ago value dates I'll remove that one so now I have more space so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy data from database uh, Bitcoin to database client marketing and first of all I'm going to pick a table here One second okay so we'll do uh, we'll do bit price so I'm going to go back to client marketing and I'm going to do the most easy approach. Now, I don't have any table in client marketing called bit price that I know of. Let me check. Yeah, I don't. Okay. So, suppose I want to just copy flat out, all right? I can do select star from bitcoin dot dbo dot bit price. So, I'm selecting star. Notice database, uh, schema, table name. We've already gone over this in a video. What happens if you're on this database and you want to query this database? We had a previous video discussing that. And I can now do into, um, yeah, let's do uh, client marketing bit price. You'll notice this table does not exist. And to prove that, before I do this, I'm going to select, uh, select name from sys.tables. And let's see if we have a, a CM bit price oh, under this. And you'll see we don't have a table named that. But I'm going to create one out of thin air. And this bit price uh, was not as big of a table as I thought it was. So it's not really that bad. Okay, so just 330,000 rows. And now under client marketing, I can do select star from this table. And you'll notice I created it out of thin air. It didn't exist before, now it exists. Now, uh, I'm gonna drop the table because I don't want it there in this database. So, um, If you've already created the table in the other database, then instead of doing it this way, what you'll do is you'll say insert into, and again, I'm pretending that this table exists, insert into this uh, select star from a database schema table name um, and that's how again it's it's very simple to copy a, a table from one database to another uh, if you're on the same server when it goes to another server you by the way can do a linked server if you don't do a linked server we, we do linked servers a lot in our, our environment it caused a lot of hassle so we decided not to do them anymore and we now use PowerShell so we do it in PowerShell but it's going to be the same concept what we're doing is we're selecting a data set on one server and we're just going to insert it into the other um, and so that's a really quick way in which you can do that you can see it's not hard my suggestion you don't have to even create the table if you just want to copy the data straight then just do uh, the select star into and create your table on the fly